Hey guys, uh, today I want to do a video on the differences between actual Blu-ray and uh, DVD. And of course there's 4K and that's a whole other realm. Uh, I mean, well, not a whole other realm, it's still you know, True HD and DTS Master and all that good stuff. But uh, for people that are kind of new to the channel or, or new into the hobby and you're trying to figure out whether a Blu-ray is worth it over the DVD, uh, there's a couple of obvious things. Uh, you know, the picture quality is a lot better. And what, what prompted me to make this is I actually uh, got these two uh, from Amazon recently. And you know, this is kind of cool. It's uh, the trilogy. It's all in Blu-ray, so that's nice. And I finally picked up The Haunting. Uh, the Haunting is one of my favorite base scenes. Uh, it's just, it really, it's powerful. But one of the things that disappointed me is this is obviously the DVD copy. And so if you look here, let's see if I can zoom in on it. I'm probably not. That's the sound right there is Dolby 5.1. Now, it's not terrible. It's not like, oh, it's just unbearable to listen to. But you look on here on the Blu-ray, and let's see if I can get a little closer there. All right, that says DTS Master Audio. Okay. Now, DTS Master and Dolby True HD are what they call lossless formats. And what that means is the sound is just a lot better than the regular uh, 5.1 or uh, all, the, all the basic formats. And of course, uh, as you go on to Dolby Atmos and DTSX, it's even better. And it's more processed to uh, you know, having height surrounds and all that good stuff. But if you're just running a basic setup, What's the difference? Well, you get the DTS Master on this Back to the Future movie, which uh, I, I played it a little bit and it does sound better than I've ever heard it because I'm getting the uh, DTS Master audio. Now, one of the videos I did before was not getting uh, you know, Dolby Atmos and DTSX. And that was because I was, well, there's actually two reasons. I was running the uh, Blu-ray player through the TV first and then through the ARC to the amplifier. Come to find out, see, I, I wasn't that big on movies, believe it or not, until I started doing this channel. I used to be just mostly music. That was my big thing. And, you know, if you're not paying attention, this is something you can easily miss. So I realized after looking at it, because I, I did the whole Atmos thing and I, I was, I wasn't disappointed, but I wasn't like awestruck, like I've seen some reviews and I was just like, something's wrong. So I got to looking at the uh, manual and find out, well, if, it's, if you're getting Atmos, it'll display Atmos. Oh, so I wasn't getting it. So I ran the Blu-ray player directly to the amplifier. And I, it, it got a little bit better. It said, you know, it went from just regular Dolby Digital on the 6200 to saying uh, uh, Dolby Digital plus DDS2. So it was better, but it still wasn't getting the Atmos signal. So Come to find out there's this uh, filter setting you have to change in the Blu-ray player. It comes standard to where you can't get uh, the higher end formats. So I finally figured out what it was, turned that setting off, and then finally got it. You, you've got to make it to where it's not uh, sending uh, PCM, it's got to be Bitstream. So like on this one, Bitstream wasn't even an option. It was PCM or Auto, so I had to set it to Auto. And then there was another setting I had to adjust. I'll, I'll put that down in the link. I forget what it is now, but it was just weird. So I finally got it set up, finally got Atmos, and it was just wow. And what I realized, um, and what a lot of viewers pointed out, is that this whole time I've been watching Blu-rays but not getting the good sound out of it. It was still getting the basic sound. And so going through and making sure that setting is correct so that when your amplifier is playing, it actually shows DTS Master or Dolby True HD. Those are the two lossless formats. And of course, if you got Dolby Atmos or DTSX, it says that. Uh, but it really does make a big difference because it's, the sound quality is just a lot better. It's, uh, the gain is better. You don't have to turn it up as loud to get the same amount of volume. And so it's not just the picture quality because I'll tell you this, the picture quality was um, not great. I'm not super thrilled with this. Uh, I was, they didn't have a Blu-ray, so I just got the DVD. And I'm just kind of disappointed with it because they actually had it on Netflix. And on Netflix, it was better quality, better picture quality. And uh, 
honestly running through the ARC because by the way, ARC, the audio return channel goes from the TV to the amplifier and it basically forms a network connection. Okay. So the TV's talking to the amplifier, the TV sending all audio signal to the amplifier and the amplifier takes video and audio signal and sends it to the TV. So it's like a more of a network connection rather than just a straight HDMI. Uh, but you'd think because it's HDMI, it'll be able to transfer everything. <clears throat> Wrong. It doesn't work like that. Uh, ARC does not support Atmos True HD, uh, DTSX, or DTS Master. Uh, so that's important to know. That's why I run the amp. And again, it's a lot more complicated now. Uh, when I had it hooked up to the TV, everything was just super easy. I just did all the switching through the TV, and it was a piece of cake. Now, if I want to watch uh, <laughs> cable or Blu-ray, I have to switch it over to the amplifier, take the amplifier, switch it to the right device. I mean, it's yeah, it's not that bad, but you know, it's just not as simple as just running everything through the TV, but you lose the good audio format that way. So that's what I want to talk about today was just the differences between uh, DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, 4K is obviously going to have a higher end format. It's going to have at least uh, Dolby True HD or DTS Master. Uh, it'll probably have Atmos or DTSX. Uh, so with a 4K, it's, you're in a kind of a different realm anyway. You have a 4K player, you know, you're kind of already set up for that. But even so, your 4K player may still have a default in there that doesn't allow uh, the Master, the True HD, DTSX, and Atmos to go through even if you hook it directly to the amp. So that's one of those things to look for. Uh, it's, it threw me for a loop. It's one of those things where, you know, I'm not exactly, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of pay attention to this stuff. So you'd think that I would have known this a long time ago, but I missed it. So if I missed it, I know other people have missed it. So that's one of those things to look for. Uh, and you know, that's again, the primary difference between the Blu-ray and the uh, DVD. It's not just picture, but it's also sound. And, but to get the benefit of that sound, you got to make sure the settings are correct. So anyway, uh, that's just a quick video I wanted to do. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and please subscribe.